Green Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Green Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome also to my CSharp.net tutorials for beginners. Lesson number 8. In this episode, we will learn how to create a combo box and use it in our form. We will also learn what are the logical operators in CSharp.net. Let's begin. Let's create a new project. A Windows Form app. Let's save it to our Lessons folder. Let's select the not let us select the .NET 8.0 for its long-term support. Create. As usual, make it a habit to change the name of the form and its text. For its text, let's change it to Lesson 8. For its name, let's change it to FRM Lesson 8. Okay, let's add a button first and change it name, its name right away to CMD Close Transaction and its text to Close Transaction. If the text is not entirely visible in the command button, you can increase its size by dragging the guides on the sides of the control. There. I'm just going to arrange it here. Let's add a combo box. Drag it to the form. And then let's add a label. For label, we're not going to change its name because it's just a label. It is just there to a some kind of a caption or a a label like what its name suggests a label for another control. So I'm just going to change it to um, food or item. Now that we have a set of a label and the combo box, but before that, let's just name, change the name of the combo box to CBO item. Now let's create a copy of this and change the name text of the other label to driver or driver name. Let's adjust its horizontal alignment. Okay, now we want this combo box to display um, foods or drinks when we click on it and the driver name to display several of our drivers when we click on it. Let's go first and populate the first combo box. Let's go to click the combo box and find it here the items i'm sorry that that is the items properties as you can see there is a collection here click this click this button with ellipses and now you can enter different kind of items for example i will enter rice chicken 
pork and complements uh, these three. Now for our drivers, click the combo box for driver and click on the items property again. Now enter the driver here. Let's say I am the driver and my, my nephew Ivan and for the third I will put pick up. Okay. Let's try and run this sample form. Let's just resize it first because it's too big for our screen. And make this um, screen to show, I mean this form to show in the middle. Let's click the form and select its start position property and select center screen. Now let's run the sample form. Okay. If you notice there is no display yet. I mean if you notice there are no items being displayed. That's because I haven't selected anything yet. But if you click the drop down arrow it will show the items in the collections. That goes the same for the driver. Now if you wish this to show right away the first um, item in the combo box, let's go ahead and write something in the code. Double click the form and go to the form load here. To make the combo box display the first item in the collection, we must add the selected index or set the selected index property to zero. Let's do it. CBO item. Okay. This part here will display the first index, I mean the first item in the collection. Then we'll do the same for the driver. What is the name of the second one? Okay, we haven't changed the name of the second combo, so we're going to change it. CBO driver. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same for this. Oh, no CBO. Now do you see that the first item is immediately or right away displayed by the combo boxes. Notice that if I press a key, the values of the combo boxes are changing as well. So we may not want this combo box to follow that kind of behavior. So to avoid the user from messing up the collections in the combo box, we will have to change this property of the combo box. Select the combo box and find the drop down style property. Here and change it to drop down list. Do the same for the other combo box from drop down to drop down list. Let's run again. Now if I press a key while selecting, while the combo box is selected, I can no longer change the items in the collection. So our combo box is better and it is safer from any user intervention or manipulation or it is now safe from any alteration that the user may cause. So this is for our item and for the driver name. Now we're going to add checkboxes for indicating whether the item has been paid and another checkbox for um, determining if the item is for takeaway and another one for um, showing whether the item is for pickup. 
let's go ahead and add those checkboxes. I mean, drag the first checkbox and change its text to paid. Change the name as well to CHK. Now copy this and align with the other checkbox. Change this name to CHK takeaway and change the text to take away. Now copy again and paste. Change the text to pick up and its name to chk pickup. Okay, now that we have our form with all the required controls, we can begin with our coding. First, I'm going to write the code in the closed transaction and we're going to trap the values for paid takeaway and for pickup we're going to introduce a new command called if the if is a command which evaluate if the conditions or the statements are true okay in this case we're going to evaluate the values of the checkboxes whether they are checked which means they are true it is true or unchecked which means false and like what i said in during the intro i said that i will introduce new operators called the logical operators we will use the double ampersand sign and the not sign Notice that if we used the command if, it's this keyword, right away you will need to write a code block underneath it inside these curly braces. So if this line has been executed and, this, and the conditions are met, then the code block within its curly braces is executed. So let me just explain this. The double ampersand or double ampersand means it is the end logical operator. And the this exclamation point is the not operator. Another thing is the double pipe. Or vertical bar so double vertical bar means the or logical operator so in this condition I mean, this was evaluating whether the this checkbox here the paid the takeaway and the pickup here is checked the checkbox for being paid is checked and the, the checkbox for takeaway is checked it's not checked sorry so let's read it again the checkbox for the the takeaway checkbox is not checked again and the checkbox for pickup is not checked we will execute this code block here so we have a end Op logical operator here and the not 
check the operator. You selected CBO item text to string plus. So I'm saying that if these conditions are met, I'm going to inform the user that he has or she has selected this item from from combo box here and convert that to string and concatenate it this plus here our concatenation operation and it is a dine in this line here will be executed if this one is checked and this one is not checked these two are not checked. Let's run it. Okay, there was an error. Let's check. Okay, we forgot to add the semicolon. Run it again. Okay, let's click the close transaction. Nothing happens, right? But if we click the paid, this should meet the criteria for this if. Check, and those two are not checked here and here close transaction as you can see it says you selected rice and it is a dine-in if we take something here it's not going to show any message or even this part here even if we tick all of this checkboxes and click the close transaction nothing is going to be shown just it's because it did not meet the right criteria or condition that this if is requesting so if you untick this two this should match this criteria check and not check and not check again see okay let's add another condition okay so we added another condition let's run it first so the condition is if this one is checked and takeaway is checked and the value of this second combo box is not equal to pickup I mean we've selected any of the driver except for pickup then this message will be shown let's try check paid as this one first line chk paid is equal to check and then another condition is if this takeaway is checked and the driver name is not equal to pickup so it means we didn't select the pickup and we didn't take this part 
close transaction. You selected Rice and your dri delivery driver is Glenn. Okay, let's try Ivan. Here's the same message. Let's try the pickup. It's not showing anything. It's because we didn't trap that situation yet. We only trap what will happen if the um, this is check and this is check and this is not equal to pickup. Let's go ahead and create another condition. But before we do that, let's just do something with this too. We want it that when this checkbox is tick, which means the item is for takeaway, this, this pickup should not be tick. And that goes the same for this part. If this is tick, the pickup, the takeaway should be unticked. To do that, if you remember lesson 7, I have talked about negation. So what we're going to do here is we create a negation, which means when this is tick, this will be unticked and vice versa. Double click on the takeaway and do this. Okay, so this line here, the check pickup is being negated by this check away check. So this will be checked if this is not checked, this CHK take away. Let's run it and tick. There, as you can see, if I take this take away and untick it, this will be ticked. Now, if we try and click the other side, now it, it doesn't change the value for takeaway. So we'll have to do the same for the pickup. And change this to. Okay, so for the takeaway check box, we're negating it using the CHK pickup. Let's try and run this form. Pickup, there. So when I take pickup, it this I mean it removes the tick, uh, the check from this takeaway. And if I check the takeaway, the pickup will be unchecked. So nice, right? Now let's go ahead and add the third condition. run it so what is the condition what is okay so what is in the third condition it says here that if it's paid if it's not paid I mean this is not tick but this was checked this should show order is not paid let's try order is not paid correct if we take this you selected rice and your delivery driver is Glenn. Untick this. Nothing happens because nothing happened because we haven't wrapped this condition yet. But for this condition, not checked here for the first line. I mean, first condition, not 
checked and this one is checked it says order is not paid yet okay so far so good let's add the fourth condition Okay, for our fourth condition, we're evaluating if the first checkbox, the paid is not checked, the takeaway is not checked, and the pickup is not checked. If all those conditions are true, it should show you this message. So let's not go ahead and check anything. Click close transaction. So there you go. You have not ordered anything. It's because we have met all the conditions that are in this if keyword let's go ahead and add the fifth condition okay so one two three four five okay for our fifth condition okay we're going to evaluate if the driver name or the driver's name is equal to pickup and this pickup is or okay hold on a little while earlier i said that the double ampersand is the end for logical operator and the double vertical bar or the double um, pipe is for the or or logical operator so in here whether the user selected pickup or take this pickup mess this version of the message will be shown to the user okay let's try let's not take anything yet okay let's take paid and let's take and select pickup 
you select the rice and it is ready for pickup. So this condition has been met. The driver's name is pickup, which means there was no driver selected. If the driver's name is equal to pickup, which means we have not selected any driver, or this double pipe here represents the logical operator or the checkbox for the pickup is not checked or i'm sorry if the checkbox for the pickup is ticked so we try this so tick this one and select any driver and it's the same you selected rice and it is ready for pickup it's because we have ticked this and we have met this condition let's select any other let's select the combo and close transaction you selected combo and it is ready for pickup select pickup and that's it so this selection here overrides this values okay that's it for today's lessons guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel leave your comments at the comment section below Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.